Alrighty, guys, you saw the title. We have five high short interest stocks to break down today, all of which could be squeezing in the short term. So we have a lot to cover the charts, my thoughts, what I'm looking to do. But first, guys, of course, hit the like button. Do not forget to subscribe and get up to 15 stocks from Moo Moo. Listen to this deal, guys. Once you open up your account and fund it with at least $100, you get five stocks and a $30 cash reward. That's pretty much a 30% return right there. And fund your account at least $1,000. You get 10 more stocks. And overall, your uninvested cash for now will earn up to 8.1%. APY, which guys makes this deal a no brainer. So check out the link down below or simply go to stasurfest.com slash moo. And with that being said, guys, cheers. Let's get right into the video. So the first stock that I want to go over is ticker symbol PHAT, which I think I covered in a recent episode here of the high short interest stocks uh, videos that uh, we do once or twice a week actually not twice a week it's typically once a week either way I think I covered it recently and guys it's starting to move as of Friday this past Friday it went up six and a half percent and the short interest are you guys ready for this buckle up is around what 47 percent almost 50 percent short interest and guys let me actually fix this camera angle a little bit my ocd's kicking in there we go guys that's a little bit more centered but yeah 47 percent short interest which is wild and look at the chart the uptrend is holding it looks like this could be a continuation play we got the pull down from $19 to about $14, $15. Buyers came in, boom, we got consolidation, and now we're popping off of the moving averages, heading into earnings coming up on, let's see, the 7th of November in the morning, which is what? I think that might be uh, Wednesday. No, that's Thursday. That's Thursday coming up here, guys. Um, this company, Fathom Pharmaceutical, they're reporting earnings and the chart, let's just say, looks really good heading into earnings. And again, 48% short interest. We might be going for the highs, guys, uh, maybe even before earnings. The high on this chart being almost $20 per share. So this one looks really good on the charts. I figured let me put it on. Uh, your watch list, number one for this video, because it looks good on the charts. And the company, again, is reporting earnings, uh, which could, keyword is could, cause more upside uh, in the stock, at least in my opinion. What do you guys think? So that's PHAT off of a nice green day on Friday. Stock number two is CMPO, which is Compo Secure. I think we mentioned this. Uh, months ago it was a while but man this stock has been performing let's just say that and recently we hit $16 per share and now we're cooling off a bit off of that high uh, we're currently trading at $14.50 ish cents as of the aftermarket right now um, on Friday and guys this is another one that could be a continuation play the chart looks really good. We're cooling off a little bit after running up so much. And I'm waiting to see if buyers come in, maybe to push this thing um, a bit higher here. Uh, honestly, I'm just waiting to see where buyers come in. This company's also reporting earnings on uh, or in this week. It looks like on the 8th, which might be on Friday. Um, yeah, that's on Friday. And this company, this stock, very high short interest, obviously, right? 45.6%. So keep your eyes on it. Uptrend is holding. The chart looks really good. Um, I'm just waiting to see where buyers come in for this to be potentially a continuation play. Now, number three, Spirit Airlines, ticker symbol S-A-V-E. As you guys may or may not know, if you've been uh, tracking this company, there's a risk of bankruptcy right now, but they just, uh, we just got some news that they're, 
uh, you know, restructuring their debt. I think they got some financing from somebody. I forget exactly right now um, off the top of my head, but that caused some momentum in the stock a couple of days ago. Um, and now it's at about $2.50, and the short interest is 34%. Guys, if we get any good news around, you know, them not going bankrupt, getting more financing, them restructuring their debt, any good news, any good news, this could cause shorts to cover and hence a short squeeze. Why? It's why the stock is in this video, right? So it's it's very risky. I mean, this could easily go bankrupt in a couple of months, uh, but it's it's worth watching as, again, they're trying to restructure their debt, figuring all that out. Um, and earnings are coming up as well for Spirit Airlines. They're on, it looks like, the 12th, so not this upcoming week, but the week after that, uh, we're going to get Spirit Airlines earnings. So keep your eyes on them. Not the highest short interest on the list, but still 33.8% uh, as they're going through rough times, right? Bankruptcy looming. They're restructuring their debt. Earnings are coming up. It's definitely worth watching as a as a really speculative play. All of these are obviously um, very speculative. Stock number four is ARS Pharmaceuticals, ticker symbol SPRY. This one has a very high short interest as well, not as high as the others, but it's at 29.2%, and this also looks really good on the charts and could be viewed as a continuation play. It looks like we are bouncing off of the 180 SMA right now on the four hour chart. The stock went up around 4% on Friday. Very good. Um, and now it looks like it's testing the 50 moving average, which if this breaks at about 1560, I'll say, uh, 1560 for now. I'll put my alert there. If we're able to get out of that point at some point this week, man, we could be gearing up for a break towards $17, which is where we just were. Dare I say even higher. It's possible. It's in the cards, guys. So keep your eyes on SPRY, ticker symbol SPRY, ARS Pharmaceuticals as the chart looks good. Earnings are coming up on this one as well. Pretty much all of these are about to report earnings, and uh, the short interest is high. It looks like Spry, ARS Pharmaceuticals, they're reporting earnings this Thursday coming up here, guys. So keep your eyes on them. AAOI is another one. And by the way, guys, hit the like button. If you guys stuck till the end, I appreciate your support as always. Hit the like button. Do not forget to subscribe if you haven't done that here on YouTube. I think 50% of you guys watch the content, but for some reason you're not subscribed. So if that's you, make sure to subscribe. I appreciate you all. So AAOI, Applied Opto Electron. This company is interesting. Earnings are coming up, like all of them are for, for these stocks we're uh, talking about today. They're on Thursday, this uh, this upcoming Thursday. And this stock has 29% short interest, pretty high. And the uptrend is continuing. The chart looks good, as all these stocks' charts look good. Um, and we're holding the 180 SMA, which has held for a good uh, two and a half months, pretty much at this point. Excuse me, guys. My allergies are still not the best right now. I'm fighting through this, fighting through the allergies, guys. But yeah, it looks like it could be a continuation play. Holding on above the 180 SMA. We had a nice 8% green day on Friday. Looks like we're testing the 50 moving average, which is a big spot of resistance now, which if we're able to get out of there, this could start breaking out again and maybe push for 20 bucks, which we were just at 20 bucks, a little bit under that. Uh, but we were there about, let's see, two weeks ago, middle of October, we hit 20 bucks. So if we're able to get out of 1725, I'll put my alert there. Watch out for more upside on AAOI. So. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. As always, I'm curious kind of where your head's at. Make sure... 
to hit the like button, subscribe, check out the free email list down below if you want me to send you my top three stocks every Monday. Put your first name and your email. And shout out to everybody that's been joining the Patreon where I'm building my private portfolio. You guys get to see all the moves in there. And, of course, there's a Discord. I post all my charts and ideas on Patreon throughout the week. So if you guys are interested, check out the link down below in the comments, pinned in the comments or in the description box, or go to StossRFest.com slash Patreon. I'll see you guys in there. And with that being said, cheers. I'll catch you in the next video.